Hello everyone. How are you? Good. Alhamdulillah. So, um, I've been told by the organizer today that we supposed to speak fully in Bahasa. So, I'll try to mix up between Malay and Bahasa because just now, I think throughout the session, uh, Mr. Paul uh, been been talking in, in English fully. So, hari ini, I'll try my best to speak in Bahasa so that everyone can fully digest the information that we're going to share today. Okay? So, again, the introduction. I'm Zati Ozlin Osman, the uh, Associate Director of Strategic Engagement and Special Project from KPMG Malaysia. So before I start, uh, let me, you know, uh, warm up the floor first with the audience. So who knows, what is KPMG? Anyone? I'll have small gifts for those that able to answer the question. Okay, Mr. Over there, even maybe you can pass the mic. Accounting and auditing? Mm, almost there. Almost there. Anyone? We'll put your answer as KIV if there's no one else able to answer correctly. Okay, Iman, another guy over there. All uh, right. Is an audit firm? Almost there. 0749. Okay. Consultancy. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. It's supposed to be a mix of audit and consultancy, but what the exact uh, services that we provide? Anyone else that want to try? 0716. We have everything in Google. Come on, Google. Uh, it's audit, tax, and advisory. Almost there. Almost there. Thank you. Almost there. 0009. It's the umbrella of all. What is it? Come on, Google, what is KPMG? What is Big Four? So, in Big Four, we have EY, PwC, Deloitte, and KPMG. So, what zero is it? Three nine. Anyone? Anyone? Zero, 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 nine. Okay, I'll count until three. One, two, three. Five, six, okay, no one else. Okay, so the, the really, really near answer is the minister over there, Liana, maybe you can pass uh, our token to him. So KPMG is a professional services firm that provide audit, advisory, and tax service. Okay? So that's one of the factors that when we interview candidates, whenever they apply to us, they got confused, you know? Because they have no idea what uh, KPMG as a whole, all right? So what they know is KPMG is an audit firm. So only accounting degree candidate can apply to us, which is wrong. Regardless whatever your background are, you are always welcome to be part of our family. Okay, today my topic is memberi tumpuan kepada keboleh kerjaan. Actually, my, my real topic should sound, uh, you are your own brand. Okay, so what is it? Apa itu keboleh kerjaan? Anyone? Anyone knows what is keboleh kerjaan? Okay. Alright. I'll just move on to the next slide. Let's go through. Okay. I think there's the alignment of the slide didn't really cover all. But it's fine. Okay, let me just say. Kenali maksud job ready dan cara untuk menonjolkan diri di dalam kelompok yang besar. What should you do or what can you do in order for you to be acknowledged or recognized by the best or top employer? Okay, anyone want to answer this? What kind of criteria, what kind of factor that you should bring in together with you in order for you to be able to secure your dream job? Zero eight four seven. Okay, over there. 0839. So I have two ladies together with me today. Later, we're going to have short sketch to share with you on how to ace interview. All right, sir. What's your answer? Um, you're putting aside the working experience. Okay. The most important is uh, attitude. Never say I attitude. Yes, correct. Number, one. Number two is... Uh, 0817. Uh, Leadership skill, okay. good communication skill, Great. the understanding. Understanding of what? Um, humans, uh, strengths and weaknesses. Okay, great. Um, then uh, try to market ourselves 
at the best. Yes, that's the perfect answer. Yeah. Try to brand yourself at the best. Okay? Alright, uh, Liana? Okay. So, just now, the sir over there mentioned that you know you have to have good communication skills. You have to good uh, to have good uh, human skills. You know to understand your own strength, your weaknesses, and also to understand the role that you're applying to. Okay, identity diri yang stabil. Mulakan dengan adanya resume yang komprehensif. Where the speaker before uh, Mr. Paul just now did mention that it is a good bonus if you could come up with a very nice LinkedIn profile in order for you to attract the good employer, you know, to reach out to you or to secure you to be part of their firm. Sentiasa bersedia untuk menggambarkan apa yang anda tulis di kertas. Ini kesalahan yang sentiasa dilakukan oleh calon-calon uh, temuduga. Yeah, when they submit their CV or their resume, right, they tend to copy and paste. Okay, actually, in order for you to come up with a very good CV, it's not difficult, it's not hard. It's just a matter for you untuk kenal diri anda sendiri. Apa yang patut anda tulis di dalam CV anda untuk memudahkan uh, employer atau syarikat mengenali anda dengan lebih dekat apabila dia menerima permohonan kerja anda. Okay, so in your CV, when I mention, some candidate tend to actually copy and paste. Okay, dia nak buat CV ni, dia nak apply, dia nak apply dekat website uh, any of uh, the organisation. So what they did, dia pergi Google, contoh resume ataupun contoh CV. So they copy and paste without even trying to understand dalam contoh CV tu apa yang tertulis. Apabila kita copy and paste, kita mempunyai tendensi untuk tidak mengambil betul-betul berat berkenaan dengan info yang tertera. Sometimes contoh tu tak ada not related to our experience or our skill pun. Okay, itu dah satu kesalahan. Jadi, apabila kita ataupun interviewer give the candidate a call dan tanya, oh, from your CV, uh, kita nampak uh, tuan atau puan ada senaraikan uh, pengalaman Uh, pernah bekerja dalam bidang uh, accounting sebagai contoh uh, dan jika sebenarnya bila dia copy and paste to not related to to dia punya experience dia akan tergagap-gagap okey dia akan terstuck di situ dan menjadikan suasana tu uh, menampakkan yang kandidat itu tidak mahir dan tidak bersedia okey itu adalah kesalahan utama di mana kandidat akan di reject applicationnya right away after the call okey So, mempunyai growth mindset. Apa itu growth mindset? Okay, siapa kat sini can share? What is growth mindset? Anyone? Ladies audience. Come on, what is growth mindset? Anyone? I couldn't see people's face from up here. Okay, so growth mindset. Menjadi tangkas dan produktif di tempat kerja. Apa itu tangkas dan produktif di tempat kerja? Macam mana? Okay, what does it mean? Anyone want to to help me, you know, explain and and share your understanding here with other audience? Still no one. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so menjadi tangkas dan produktif di tempat kerja maknanya you will always force yourself, okay, to come front to ensure that people acknowledge you by showing to people that you are always ready to learn, you are always ready to develop yourself regardless the situation, regardless the stress, and regardless the role that we assign to you. Okay? And also bangunkan skill set yang akan menyediakan anda dalam apa sahaja. Readiness, readiness. Your mindset must always be positive, you know. It's okay, it's okay. Even, you know, today uh, kena marah dengan boss or seniors not being helpful. It's okay, I'm here to learn. Saya di sini adalah untuk belajar. It's okay bila kena marah because let me tell you this. When I first secure my first job, right, I have no guts to stand in front of the people to speak like this. There's no way. Because how, you know, it, we are all human, right? We learn from our experience. We learn from our mistake. Without experience and mistake, there's no way for you to actually memecahkan halangan. Huh? Halangan uh, confident anda. Uh, kepercayaan kepada diri. You have to trust yourself in order for you to be able to be at the front stage, you know, untuk kalahkan the crowd yang lain. Okay? So, bijak dalam menjaga image. Okay, macam mana nak menjaga image? What is image? Apa itu image? Okay, now I will choose. Okay, I will choose the audience to answer my question. Okay, uh, the ladies with blue tudung over there with pink, pink bag. Is it? Is it bag or pink resume? Yes, you. Okay, what is image? What do you understand about image? 
Jadi diri sendiri. Okay, jadi diri sendiri. What else? First impression. Sorry? First impression. Okay, first impression. Okay, image. Alright. What else? What else? Okay, alright. It's okay. So we stop there, right? So, just now, uh, the lady mentioned... What is your name? I didn't get your name. Sorry. My name is Fifa. Fifa. Pizza. Iza. Okay, Iza. Thank you so much for your answer, Liana. Uh, over to her. Alright. So, betul. Okay, image adalah first impression. Okay, menjadi diri sendiri. Okay, Iza. Iman, Iman, uh, you can pass back the, the mic. Okay, so Iza, when when suddenly kan, uh, in the shock, dalam keadaan tidak bersedia, tiba-tiba I call up. Okay, uh, without knowing your name. Okay, sekarang I dah tahu nama you Iza. Tadi I tak tahu. Yang I tahu, your image. ya yeah, Bertudung biru, uh, memegang sesuatu di tangan berwarna pink. Okay, apa perasaan you? Terkejut? Nervous? Takut? Semua. Semua. Okay. <laughs> Itulah perasaan pertama when you first enter the interview room. Betul tak? Betul. Okay, apabila you masuk melangkah kaki tadi, okay, you get so excited. Betul tak? You've been telling your family, hari ni saya nak pergi interview. Today I'm going to attend so many interview. Okay, hopefully with all this uh, chance that I'm gonna, you know, knock the door, I will be able to secure one. Betul tak? So, masuk pintu pertama, nervous lagi. Pintu kedua, nervous lagi. Pintu ketiga dah tak rasa apa-apa. Betul tak? Uh, saya baru pas uh, satu interview je. Baru satu interview. Uh -huh. Okey. Kali kedua mesti dah tak nervous. Kenapa dah tak nervous? Sebab dah dapat rasa the environment. Yes. Yeah, sebab sekarang dah terkejut. So perasaan takut dan terkejut tu dah hilang dah. Dah hilang. Okey. Because bila interview is only between you and the interviewer. Berhadapan. Satu. Uh, so you know. Uh, antara one to one. Alright. Tapi bila in the big crowd like this. Semua orang pun. Semua orang pun tahu you, semua orang pun mendengar suara you, jawapan you, cara you jawab dan sebagainya. So you shouldn't be nervous after this, okay? Alright. Okay, what else? What else? What is image actually? Okay. Kita choose uh, the lady back there in front of Liana with uh, black hijab. Oh, okay. Sorry, Liana. After this, we have one to answer. Personality. Correct. Personality. Okay. Selain daripada personality, apa yang ada di dalam personality tu? Apa yang merangkumi personality? Attitude, how you express yourself. Uh, you have to, to 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 speak up. Okay. I cannot um, hear you. Uh, attitude, um, okay. how you um, express yourself, how you talk to people, how you greet people, okay. how you engage with people. So. Perfect answer. I like that. Okay. Alright. What is your name? I didn't get your name. Um, uh, Nurul. Okay, Nurul. Alright. So it's different situation just now. Where Iza, she's been forced to answer. Where Nurul, she volunteered to answer. So the 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 level of nervousness and also the level of scared is different. So Nurul, when you answer my question just now, are you scared or are you nervous? Or none of it? None of it. Because of what? Three, three. I'm used to it. You used to it. Experience, right? Yes. Another one is what? You have the answer in you. So <laughs> yeah. you are not scared. Yeah. Okay? So when there's a session like this in future, there's no right or wrong. Tidak ada yang betul, tidak ada yang salah. Because we are all human. We are all still learning. Okay? Alright? Cool? Next. Move on. Zero eight zero one. Alright, seorang so team player. What is team player? Apa itu team player? Anyone? What is team player? Okay, maybe we can have... Okay, we can have his answer. Zero, seven, four, eight. Um, good leadership skill. Okay. Good motivational uh, skill we, along with the tools. Yeah, suitable tools will be... I mean, uh, to, to be used uh, to motivate human being. Okay. Um, Will it naturally build one. or is it we have to develop and train ourselves? No, motivate the team members as a leader. Okay. Well, especially right. they face tough times. So do our best to motivate them. Okay. Yeah, talk a lot of positive Zero, talks, speech, the actions. Great. Leadership by examples. Uh -huh. Do it ourselves. Show to them. Prove to them. Okay. So we can do it. I can do it. So why not you? My Tao Lai can do it as okay. well. Okay. 
Great, yeah. great. Okay, thanks for your answer. Okay, just now this uh, mentioned about you know as a leader we have to be able to motivate our team members. Okay, to be as good as us. That as a leader. But what about as team members? Uh, among the peers, how you should react? Okay, maybe we can have uh, the one in white or in peach. Uh, the second, the second from the front. Yeah, with hijab. Yes. Hi. Okay. All right. So. Maybe you should, uh, can introduce yourself, your name. Uh, hi, but, uh, my name is Fadlin. Vaz Fadli. Fad Fadlin. Sorry? Fadlin. Fadli. Okay, Fadli. So what is team player? What do you understand about the word team player? Okay, apa yang saya tahu? Okay, apa yang uh, anda faham berkenaan dengan perkataan team player? A team player ni uh, bekerja dalam kumpulan. Betul. And kita kena ada um, kena ada good um, communication. Okay. And then um, kita kena bekerja sama. Okay. Uh, so bila kita ada teamwork yang kuat so kita boleh um, ada uh, team player yang kukuh lah Okay alright not wrong tidak salah betul okay Okay but let us uh, Liana okay so let us have another answer Maybe the sir in front of her Iman, uh, Iman? What is team player? Apa itu team player based on your understanding? Um, <coughs> team player Seorang yang dia boleh bekerja dalam kumpulan dengan baik. Okay. Uh, bertukar pendapat. Terima pendapat yang paling baik lah. Okay. Okay. We output in the situation. Okay. Katakanlah dalam satu kumpulan tu, semua pun sebagus you. So you have 10 orang ahli kumpulan uh, ataupun team player, team members. So 10-10 tu sama bagus dengan you. So whenever your boss or your leader puji, dia akan puji 10-10. So how you should do, apa yang anda patut buat untuk menunjukkan kepada ketua anda yang yes kami semua bagus, tapi saya lagi bagus untuk mengetuai mereka di masa akan datang. What you should do as a good team player? Okay, tak apa. Anybody else? Anyone? Anyone want to try out? Diana, that's lah. Okay. Anyone? Zero eight four six. Zero eight three. Anyone want to answer? Okay, no one. It's fine. Okay. How to make a good team player? A good team player, regardless how bad is the situation, you must ensure if you are working in a very big team, right? You must ensure that when you know all of you go down, you must go up together okay there's no pointing back that this is your fault this is your fault i'm the only one yang bagus saya je yang bagus anda semua tak bagus so we fail because of you no such thing in order for you to be acknowledged by the employer or your leaders you must show macam mana teruk pun situasi you must stay together with your team members to show your leadership skill untuk menjadi ketua yang bagus ni uh, to to build up very big strong to us kita kena ada apa kesabaran confident Kepercayaan pada diri sendiri dan juga kepercayaan kepada orang yang bekerja bersama-sama dengan kita. Then only people or our leaders we acknowledge as a good leader or as a good person. Okay? So, bijak komunikasi perniagaan. Good business communication skill. Okay, apa itu? Just now, uh, when when uh, I throw out first question, there's so many people answer. Good communication skill, good communication skill. Apa itu good communication skill? How can we assess or how can we judge a person, uh, the, the their communication skill level, whether or not good or poor? Okay, maybe we can have the lady in turban over there, that wearing a red uh, jumpsuit, yeah. How do you assess the good communication skill? I have no idea. You have no idea. Okay, it's fine. Anybody else that want to try out? Bagaimana anda boleh assess, okay, yang seseorang itu mempunyai skill komunikasi yang sangat bagus? Ah, okay, Iman, uh, so over there, yeah. 
Okay, uh, a person who has a good conversation. Okay. The message the, from A to point to A point is directly 100% pure. And uh, it's, it's very fluent. And uh, nothing changed from the praise, from one praise to another praise. So it's a very good communication. And the communication is then passed on. Okay. okay? Uh, according to everybody's agreement. Okay. So nothing changed. And nothing can, nobody can say that, uh, no, I didn't mention this or that. That's it. Okay. All right. All right. That's one of it. Okay. So how can this kind of skill help you to ace an interview, madam? Um, how it can, uh, we have to be truthful okay. what we have to say in our experience. So, uh, by being truthful to what we have in our resume, mm -hmm. we can relate back to the interviewer. Okay, that's the perfect answer. Okay, alright, thank you very much. Okay, seorang so, yang all-rounder. Apa itu all-rounder? All-rounder, that means you can fit in in whatever situation you've been through or whatever task that people assign to you. Okay, faham tak? Apa itu all-rounder? Okay, so... Um, Okay, so tingkatkan pengetahuan anda dalam pelbagai aspek. Okay, so what happen? Bagaimana kebanyakan uh, calon bila dia hadir kepada di dalam interview dia gagal? Kenapa? Because when it comes to question like this, right? First thing first, they will come to us and ask, ada kerja kosong tak? Okay, kerja kosong apa ya? So kami cakap. Okay, uh, sekarang boleh Puan atau Tuan uh, sharekan kepada kami uh, berkenaan dengan pengalaman atau background. You know, background ijazah atau diploma. And then dia akan boleh cakap, oh saya belajar uh, culinary tapi saya tak tahu nak kerja apa. Okay. Supposedly, you shouldn't say that in front of interviewer. Okay. You should put the guts inside you. Tak kisahlah kerja apa pun. I'm okay to take up. I'm willing to learn. Okay. That's all rounder. You will not stuck yourself within your own box. Okay. Clear? Good. Alright. Let's move on. Oh, finish already. Okay, so I have a very short sketch today for you, right? How do I? Can I can I bring back the slide? Okay, so today I have two ladies with me. I'm going to show you how to ace an interview and, you know, to, to show you how the good candidate should look like and how normally the poor candidate looks like. So let's welcome Iman and also Liana. So I bring two KPMG recruiters together with me today. So we have tools or we don't have tools? All right. Maybe we can just use this. Okay. So I'm going to throw them a situation. So they're going to... Okay. Maybe we can, you know, turn it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Zero, six, three, so Liana going to take the role as interviewer and Iman going to play the role as candidate. Okay. So the first situation we're going to show you how the bad or poor candidate normally looks like okay all right so first thing first okay as a candidate what you must ensure that you are you know you you have everything with you first is your image your branding your appearance you must make sure that you look good your hair look good you comb your hair you know you 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 uh, wear a nice uh, clothes uh, make sure it's it's clean okay uh, wangi tidak berbau kemas dan tiada kotoran okay so Iman as a candidate uh, excited ni excited nak pergi interview ni nak excited nak datang ke career fair so Iman melangkah uh, ke booth uh, you know company okay Iman how how the poor the, the situation is bad candidate how normally the bad candidate will come into the booth and start conversation 0740 um, hi, ada kerja kosong tak? Okay. That's wrong. Itu yang I mentioned just now. Tidak boleh bertanya ada kosong tak. Kenapa? Sebagai kandidat yang you nak berebut-rebut dengan beribu orang yang datang kan? Apa yang you patut buat? First kali tadi I mentioned apa tu KPMG, you boleh google, betul tak? So first thing, bila you melangkah ke dalam bus, you patut tahu apa vacancy of kerja kosong yang mereka tawarkan di dalam website. Jadi itu menunjukkan yang anda berusaha seboleh-bolehnya untuk secure the position. Okay. So, the good candidate normally apa yang dia akan buat, Iman? 
Okay, so basically we are looking for a candidate that come to our booth. Okay, so I will start. Um, I, I can lakonkan balik eh, macam mana a good candidate uh, usually we are looking for. So, um, hi, can I sit? Okay, so um, nama saya Iman Amira Aida and I dapat tahu KPMG is a one of professional care, uh, services firm and you do for audit, advisory and service uh, and tax. But I'm looking for the admin positions and I'm uh, dapat and saya dapat tahu yang ada satu position di company. Uh, boleh saya tahu maklumat selanjutnya? Okay, itu yang sepatutnya anda lakukan. Regardless whether or not ada tak kerja kosong yang anda cari itu di dalam uh, website, but you have to make sure that you have some information. Anda tahu sedikit sebanyak apa yang company ni buat dan anda terus uh, terangkan uh, jawatan kosong bagaimana yang anda inginkan. Okay? So, if the candidate is good just now, uh, so tadi Iman dah cakap, oh saya uh, dapat tahu yang KPMG ni uh, ada uh, services tax, uh, audit and advisory tapi saya mencari kerja kosong di dalam bidang administration. Boleh tak terangkan dengan lebih lanjut? Okey. Itu biasanya kalau kandidat bertanya begitu bagaimana interviewer menunjukkan minat Liana? Okay, so you're looking for an admin role? Maybe tell me a bit more about yourself and your background? Okey, kita akan mula dengan kandidat yang tidak bersedia. Okey, Iman. Um Nama saya Iman Amira. Saya tinggal di Damansara dan saya ada tiga adik-beradik. Okay, stop there. Okay, info apa yang interviewer tak perlukan berdasarkan info yang Iman provide tadi? Adik-beradik, betul. Kenapa kita tak perlukan info adik-beradik? Ha, kenapa? Sebab kita nak dia kerja dengan kita. Bukan adik-beradik dia. Dia ada 10 ke 20 adik-beradik. Kita tak peduli. Yang kita nak tahu adalah dia punya background. But then satu pun informasi berkenaan dengan pelajaran atau pendidikan dia tidak dinyatakan bila dia introduce diri dia. Okay. Take, take the tip lah. This is very important. Apabila interviewer meminta anda, okay sila kenalkan diri anda ataupun can you please introduce yourself? Jangan sesekali Uh, bercakap tentang perkara yang tidak berkenaan dengan rol yang anda mohon. Nama, keperluan. Okay. Tempat tinggal, keperluan. Kenapa? Some of the interviewer dia akan lihat kalau jauh sangat daripada tempat kerja, sometimes candidate have tendency untuk tidak hadir kerja selalunya. Okay. Dan seterusnya, kena share. So, saya mempunyai pendidikan atau pelajaran di dalam bidang bisnes. Saya pernah membuat internship di sekian-sekian-sekian. Namun saya tidak dapat uh, tempat uh, permanent job, I mean uh, jawatan tetap di company itu kerana apa? Okay, you just stop from there then the interviewer will continue to show their interest. Liana. Show interest. Yeah. Okay, so you what background are you from? So uh, I have degree in mass communication. So I have a two years experience in uh, business. Uh, sorry, in admin and uh, uh, sorry administration. Um, okay. Yeah, that's okay. all. Okay. So that's a good candidate should say. Kalau candidate yang tidak bersedia, dia akan cakap apa, Iman? Iman pun nervous. <laughs> Kalau candidate tu tak okay, dia akan cakap. Ha, saya dah tulis tu dalam CV tu. Puan pun boleh tengok dalam CV tu. There's so many situation where I counter candidate suruh interviewer baca balik dalam CV. Which is wrong. Kenapa interviewer akan tanya balik that kind of information walaupun kita boleh baca? Kenapa? Sebab ada kebarangkalian di mana candidate biasanya copy and paste informasi orang lain ke dalam CV. Okay, that's the reason kenapa interviewer tanya. Bukan interviewer malas baca atau tak letih baca. Because we want to check whether or not the information provided to you are the correct information. Okay, next. Okay, posture. So, if the interviewer berkenan atau berminat untuk meneruskan uh, to, to assess the candidate, how the, 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 the good posture that uh, the interviewer will show, Liana? Okay, so the interview biasanya akan mengkedepankan sikit badan untuk menunjukkan dia berminat untuk tahu dengan lebih lanjut. Tapi sekiranya if you found out the session, interview membelakangkan diri, 
Itu dah menunjukkan gesture dia tidak berminat. From there, you have to get ready to set your mind. I have to show that I have something in me that you should consider. Maksudnya, kalau permulaan interview dah tak bagus, you have to ensure towards the end tu, you able untuk menyedarkan diri kamu, aku kena tunjuk ni. I have something in me yang kau tak nampak lagi. So, you should build up the trust, you should build up the confidence in you and you should build up more communication in you. Okay? Clear on that? Okay. So, can I have Iman and Liana over here? Okay. Alright. Okay. So, let's play with Brand eh, just now. Okay. Both of them, ladies, they have to compete. Eh? Both of them are in the same team. They have to compete. Eh? Iman pun bagus, Liana pun bagus. But how do you tell me yang mana satu lagi bagus? Can you tell or not by looking at them? No, why? Ha, why? First, because the color are the same. Both of them are ladies. Huh? Properly wear their attire, covered shoes, put on makeup on them, they comb their hair. Right? Okay, if katalah candidate, yeah, datang, rambut biru. You sangsi tak? Nak kerja dengan KPMG ni, memang KPMG blue colour. Eh? You are the, my clear choice if you blair, wear something blue. But if your, your hair is blue, should I consider you? Or should I feel scared? I should feel scared, right? Okay. So, warna rambut. Okay, colour rambut tu boleh. I pun colour rambut. Tapi, colour yang bersesuaian. Yang menampakkan diri anda itu berketerampilan. Okay. Kasut. Ni nak interview ni. Patut pakai kasut terbuka ke? Sandal dengan stokin ke? Sport shoes? Ha. Okay. Anyone? Want to answer? 0826. Soalan senang ni. Jawablah. Covered shoes. Kenapa kena pakai covered shoes? Smart. Betul. Okey, lagi? Ada sebab lagi tu? Bersih. Lagi? Nampak? Tak nampak kaki. Betul. Kenapa kita tak nak nampak kaki? Kenapa? Kenapa kita nak nampak kaki ni? Okey, covered shoes to show that we are professional enough. Okey. Uh, bila kita nak kerja, dia ada tempat kerja ni, ada tempat kerja yang membolehkan you pakai uh, casual, ada yang membolehkan you pakai sandal. But, macam saya cakap tadi, KPMG bersih is professional services firm. So, you have to wear like this. Tapi, kita fleksi. We can still wear jean. But, you have to ensure that uh, pemakaian dia tu sesuai tempat, sesuai waktu. Okay? Alright. So, ni dua-dua kandidat ni cantik lah ni. Ha, takkan. Ha, tapi I boleh ambil satu je. I kena reject salah satu ni. Ha, macam mana biasanya? Ha, macam mana you akan decide ni? Sama ni. Tapi ada. Ada salah satu yang salah. Cuba you tengok. 0710. Ha. Ada. Ada salah satu yang salah. Cepat cakap. Boleh. Boleh. Boleh kan? Confident. Ada salah satu yang yang I akan reject ni. I nak ambil, nak ambil, nak join ni, nak jumpa klien ni. Klien suka yang cantik-cantik ni. So, macam mana? 0780. Okay. Anyone want to try? Try lah. Janganlah malu. Okay. 0710. Pandai. Kejap lagi you jumpa I. Okay. Ha, nanti I belanja you lunch. Betul. You datang interview, you tak boleh letak spek you atas kepala. Kenapa? You nak style ke? You rabun ke? You nak apa sebenarnya? Betul tak? Ke you yang interviewer? Pening juga interviewer kalau you datang interview you letak sepatah kepala. Betul tak? Betul tak? Ha, pandai pun. Ada lagi? Ada lagi? Ada lagi? Cepat. Anyone? Lah ni bukan interview. Tak kena reject pun. Cepatlah jawab. Tak nampak? Tak nampak datang depan sikit? Kena? Ha, datang depan sikit? Ha. Okay. Okay. Don't move. You too don't move. Okay. Cepat. Ha. Ada dua benda lagi yang tak disebut lagi. Apa dia? Tangan. Satu kat depan, satu dekat belakang. Kalau you confident tangan you dekat mana? Pandai. Ha. Kenapa tak jawab tadi? Lagi satu. Ha. Lagi satu apa? Apa yang kesalahan ni? 
Pandai. Butang. Butang siapa yang tak betul? Siapa nama dia? Ha, Liana. Butang Liana. Kenapa butang Liana tak betul? Ha, as interviewer yang dah selalu interview kandidat, kita akan tengok kandidat atas bawah, atas bawah. Bukan sebab kita nak tengok brand baju you. Bukan sebab kita nak tengok brand kasut you. Because kita nak tengok how ready you are. Okay. Alright. Thank you Iman and Liana. Okay, next. Okay. Ni ramai ni kan bila you guys lalu lalang, lalu lalang tadi kan. Okay. Kebanyakan kandidat kalau you perasan, dia tak datang seorang tau. It's either dia datang dengan kawan dia, dia datang dengan husband dia, ataupun dengan parents dia. Okay. Apa kesalahan yang you nampak untuk yang datang dengan parents? Huh? Anyone? Ha. Huh. Parents ada kat sebelah. Sampai masuk dalam post interview. Kadang-kadang kita tak tahu nak interview kandidat ke nak interview parents. Betul tak? Okay. Itu satu. So next time, kalau datang dengan parents, bagi tahu. Mummy, daddy, it's okay. You wait for me outside. You just pray for me. Let me ease my interview by myself. Okay. Because if you bring together your parents automatically, the interviewer will change your status as to reject. Kenapa? Kenapa to reject? Tak yakin satu? Ha? Tak professional satu? Ada lagi, lagi lagi. Hmm? Dia pun tak tahu nak kerja apa. Parents dia yang tolak. Masuklah sini, masuklah sini. Ha. Ha, tadi papa baca company ni bagus. Dia pun tak tahu company tu apa. Because banyak dah our experience with encounter when we call candidate, okay? For example lah, hello Iman, I'm Zati from KPMG. We receive your CV that you are applying for a position as audit consultant. And then the candidate normally will tell me, "Eh, saya tak ingat pula saya apply position ni. Saya rasa ayah saya lah." Automatically you spoil the whole session, you will get rejected. Sama juga, sama ada dalam telefon, berhadapan, avoid to come with parents. Okay? Okay, yang mana datang dengan husband or boyfriend pula? Apa kesalahan? Cepat, cepat. Apa kesalahan? Cepatlah. Apa kesalahan? Yang datang dengan boyfriend ke dengan husband? Ha? Tak prepare? Kan? Ada lagi, ada lagi. Dia bawa CV. Banyak ni dia bawa CV ni. Tapi dia datang dengan husband atau datang dengan boyfriend? Dia duduk belakang boyfriend dia. Lepas tu dia tolak pula boyfriend dia. You lah tanya, you lah tanya. Boyfriend dia cakap, eh you lah pergi, you lah pergi. So kita pun dah confused. When you come with, okay you can come with friend. Because friend ni sama-sama nak cari kerja. Betul tak? Dia akan, tak apa, kau pergi dulu aku support kau. But then when it comes to your loved one, your family, they have tendency to cover you from friend. Okay, instead of kita nampak you, kita nampak peneman you. So don't do that. Okay, don't do that. Okay. Alright, so itu berkenaan dengan peneman. Okay, berkenaan dengan diri sendiri pula. Okay, bila jalan. Bila jalan ni kan, okay, tengok bus. Okay, I jalan, I tengok bus, I tengok bus. Lepas tu I stop kat satu bus. Lepas tu I pusing belakang. Lepas tu I tengok depan. Lepas tu I jalan balik. Lepas tu I datang balik. Ah, kenapa kandidat buat macam tu? Tak pasti apa? Bukan tak pasti. Dia nak kerja sebab tu dia kat sini. Kenapa? Kenapa dia pergi balik, pergi balik? Dia tunggu interviewer approach dia. Selagi interviewer tak approach dia, dia tak ada confident untuk masuk. Sebab dia teragak-agak. Ni ni job fair ni. Betul tak? Tempat orang cari kerja. Tapi dia dia pula menunggu orang panggil dia. Okay. And interviewer mata tajam tau. Dia akan ingat muka you. Berapa kali? Lima kali? Sepuluh kali? Eh budak ni dah berapa kali tak masuk-masuk. Kalau kali kelima baru you masuk, you dah ada bad impression which interviewer won't proceed with your application. Okay. Itu satu. Okay next. Berkenaan dengan cara duduk pula. Macam mana? Okay, tunjuk. Tunjuk macam mana cara duduk. Tadi dah tunjuk tu. Okay. Okay. So, ada meja kan? Ada meja kan? Handbag letak kat tangan. File letak kat tangan. Lepas tu, tiba-tiba terlupa benda. Benda tu kat tangan. Bila nak introduce diri, buat gaya kan? Ha, semua terabur. Interviewer buat apa? Reject. Kenapa? Tak prepare. You kena bertenang. Nak interview ni, you kena bertenang. Okay, Assalamualaikum. Nama saya Aini. Uh, saya cari kerja. Okay, sekejap ya Puan. Saya letak barang-barang saya. Boleh saya tumpang meja? Itu kandidat yang bagus. But kandidat yang overconfident ni dia nak pegang. Kalau boleh semua. Ha, saya ada bawa CV ni. Ha, dia pun keluarkan dalam envelope. Uh, envelope coklat tu kan? Ha, uh, saya tinggal satu je sebab tadi saya dah bagi kat company lain. You rasa orang nak tak hire you? Kenapa? Tak prepare satu. Patut tak you bagi tahu tinggal satu ni. Tadi saya dah bagi kat orang lain. 
Tapi saya tak jadi lah nak bagi kat you. Boleh tak saya email? Patut tak you cakap? Tak. Dan lagi satu you tak patut letak dalam envelope. Because segala-gala benda akan ter keterabu. Okay. Readiness. Banyak tadi bawa envelope. Okay. Lepas tu. Okay. Masih dengan cara duduk lagi. Okay. Tangan patutnya ada kat mana tangan? Atas meja? Atas beha? Kat mana? Ha, cepat kat mana? Selesa tak macam tu? Betul? Betul selesa. Okay, tadi saya jumpa kandidat dia macam ni. Dia kenalkan diri, dia gulung rambut dia. Saya pun nak gulung lah rambut saya kan. Baru sama-sama keli, betul tak? Ha, my team pun semua rambut ha, kembang-kembang, betul tak? So, you shouldn't do that. Okay, yang pakai tudung pula sikit-sikit, dia tarik rambut dia, dia tarik tudung dia ke belakang. Ha, siap ada tu, eh, walaupun pakai mask dia tak selesa, dia buka mask sikit, dia tiup pula. Ha, dia nak bagi tajam. You shouldn't do that. Because itu adalah diri you ni tengah di assess ni. Bukan hanya kualifikasi, kualifikasi, Bukan hanya qualification you. Uh, bukan hanya taraf akademik you yang kita assess. Kita assess diri you untuk membawa nama company ni bersama-sama. Okay? Okay, lagi satu. Okay, color. Color eh, color. So, macam tadi tu, semua black. Itu color selamat. Orang kata color selamat. Which is, kalau you pergi interview, biasanya we call it as smart color. Okay? Okay. Rambut biru. Baju orang, seluar hijau. Color block. Ha, itu sesuai kerja dekat mana? Fashion, betul. Itu memang orang suka. Tapi kalau you tiba-tiba stokin uh, sebelah lain, sebelah lain, kuning hijau kan. Proper tak tu? Itu menunjukkan you sebenarnya tak, you sebenarnya bukan tak ready. You tak kenal diri you sendiri. Because you dah tahu you nak pergi interview. You are not ready. You tak cuba mengenali diri you. Macam mana aku patut pakai untuk nampakkan aku ni proper. Macam mana aku pakai to ensure yang kalau employer nampak aku je dia terus macam aku nak kandidat ni. Kandidat ni aku nak juga. Walaupun you belum buka mulut, orang nampak you dia akan nak. Regardless the size. Ha? Tinggi, rendah, gemuk, kurus. That's not the factor. As long as you properly wear, as long as you properly bring yourself, there's no other factor that interview will have points to reject you. You must know yourself. Okay, itu yang I cakap dari awal tadi. You are your own... 0781. Ha, apa? Yes, betul. You are your own brand. Anda adalah jenama anda sendiri. Sama macam kalau you pergi shopping kan? You pergi shopping, okay, you jalan-jalan tengok handbag. La, taste you lain dengan taste I. Betul? Macam tu lah interviewer. Ada dua orang interviewer. Iman suka, Liana tak suka. Ha, so, you have to ensure yang you ni, okay, macam big-big brand. Ha? Prada, LV, Coach. Tak cantik pun orang suka. Kenapa? Ha? Bukan yakin. Bag, bag, bag. Bag mana ada perasaan? Macam mana? Brand. Ha? Macam the, the previous speaker. Dia cakap Afiq Murad tadi. Afiq Murad satu Malaysia ke satu KL kenal dia. Because dah ada brand dekat situ. Orang tak kenal pun rasa kenal dia. That's how you should build up your own brand. It's not necessary for you to pergi shopping. You nak kena pergi. Mak, tadi ada speaker ni cakap, saya kena make sure pakai baju macam-macam ni. Saya kena pergi shopping. Tak payah pun nak pergi shopping. You just have to make sure bila you pakai something tu, you confident. Proper. Ha? Baju terlalu besar pun nampak tak kemas. Baju terlalu kecil pun nampak tak kemas. So, as long as you rasa confident, kadang-kadang overconfident pula, betul tak? Dah pakai color block, aku confident ni. Mesti semua orang hire aku. Itu tidak menjaminkan apa-apa. Kena ikut the culture of the company yang you nak apply. It's very good tau. Ada opportunity, buka booth and all. And you must know one thing. Eh? Kalau you datang booth or career fair macam ni, you bermain dengan nasib. You memang bermain dengan nasib. Kenapa you bermain dengan nasib? Ramai. So kalau semua pakai sama je, di mana nasib you? Kalau semua act sama je, di mana nasib you? Kalau semua bawa envelope, bawa file, apa nasib you? Think. Okay, you have to really, really talk to yourself and think. Okay, and you jangan confident. Ha, hari ni saya bawa CV saya dan sijil saya ha, sampai UPSR. Tak perlu. Kita tak nak tengok pun tu semua. We just want to see your latest qualification. That's why I cakap tadi, jangan letak dalam envelope, semua berterabur, things are not proper. Hari ni, mostly I cakap kat you, 100%. None of the candidate ready to be employed. They have their confidence, but overconfident. But they have no knowledge or information on the uh, job that they are applying to. Trust me. 
Okay? So, before I close my session, anyone, do you guys have any question that you want to, you know, uh, voice out? Anyone, anyone? Janganlah shy. I pun lagi shy duduk sorang-sorang kat sini. I drag my people. I cakap dengan my team just now. You like it or not, I'm going to drag you together on the stage with me. Ha, baru dia tahu. Perasaan dia nervous, perasaan candidate pun nervous. Kan? Ha. Okay. So, I'm going to be at uh, KPMG booth later on. So, whoever that want to see me to get more tips or want us to help view your CV, kan? Ha, nanti bolehlah datang dekat booth. I will help to view your CV. Uh, if I have any comment, you sempat lagi nak tukar tu. Kan? Okay? Alright, thank you so much for your time, for your ears, for your eyes. Uh, and, and I really appreciate the time given to me by Pekeso. Thank you so much, Mr. Paul. Uh, hope to see you guys soon. Thank you very much. Thanks.